So Excel is bullshit. Like, you need to have a Microsoft account to even make files. So I can't use the program. It doesn't work. It's non-functional. So I just looked it up. The last column is XFD. So if you do the math, you have A through Z. And then you have, after Z, A, A. And then A, B. And then A, C. All the way to A, Z. And then B, A. And B, B, etc. Until you get to Z, Z. And then you have A, A, A. And then A, A, B, etc. Until you have X, F, D, which is the final column. Now in a normal base 26 system, uh, you would have A representing the value 0, and then Z representing the value 25. So if you were to have like uh, B, A, then that would be kind of like 10 in base 26, which would be equal to 26. But that's not how it works, because B, A is not the number that comes after Z, and A, Z is not the same thing as Z, and either is A, A the same thing as A. Not an Excel column, so it's not base 26, it's something else. So what you need to do is you take a through z, which is 26, plus a through zz, which would be 26 sets of 26, so that's 26 squared. And then you're taking a, a, a through w, z, z, because w comes right for x. Uh, so it's like 23 megasets. Because remember, as we established, the mega set is a, a through Z, Z. So we need 23 of those because that's A through W. So 23 times 26 squared. And then we have XAA through XEZ. Then we're doing five sets of 26. So it's actually five times 26. And then finally, we have uh, just x f a through x of d which is four it's four it's a through d a b c d and that's what you got 16 3 8, 4, which happens to be a power of two it's half of 32,767 that's two to the 14. so we have 16,384 which is two to the 14. we'll get back to that in a minute first we have to cover what exactly would uh, XFD, well not X, what would, what would 16,384 be if represented in base 26 where you have A through Z and, and we're not doing um, 0 through 9 and A through P which is what most things would do because you're just extending hexadecimal. Instead we're going to go through A, A through Z as a base 26. So this is really not that complicated. You, know, you basically take your numbers, um, you have a char set Do A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. If I can type, okay. And then we have a def um, N to B and say take N and B. B being our base. Well, can I type? Editing braid in here. I'm just gonna try to explain the concept of the uh And that's basically how this very simple diagram you see on your screen is how the number processing works. So yes. 
and we're back. So I just typed this out, it's very simple. Um, so to convert a number, basically you take the number and divide it by the base to the power of the next place value, which gives you the offset from the multiple. And then chop off that from the number and store its value in terms of its place value, which means dividing it by the place value. Increase the exponent and repeat it until the number has nothing left, and you have an array of place values in ascending order. Simply reverse it and index those place values into the char set, and you have your string representation and base whatever. Increasing it by one because the small end of the number it's a lot of math, basically. So anyways, we're going to take n2b, and we're taking 16384 to base 26. And this is what you get. And ooh, it's so like that. Right, that's better. So you have in your largest uh, place value 24 and then 6 and then 4. So how do you translate this to a number? Well, these are the place values. So this represents your 26 to the 2, this represents your 26 to the 1, and this represents your 26 to the 0. These are your 1s, these are your 26s, and these are your 26 squareds. So literally you just index it in the char set. So char... Um, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this to be that. So now out is our array and we're going to do map uh, lambda x and we're going to do char set x and then take the out and do a list so that I can actually examine what's in there. there we go. So the answer is YGE. 16384 in this base 26 system is YGE. Now one funny thing about YGE is that it is an anagram of gay. 16384 is the gay number. And here's the interesting part about that now. So I pulled up a little calendar here, and you can see in 2025, on February 14th, remember that 2 to the 14 is 16384, and that is the gay number. February the 14th is Fanboy Friday and the gay day. Mark your calendars, guys.